Hey everyone, I'm going to talk to you today about setting goals through intentional living. I have my diffuser going with Motivate Essential Oil Blend to keep me con my focus and keep me concentrated. And I also have some chilling beats in the background too. I have my happy planner in front of me and some notes that I'm going to be referring to uh, to keep me on track. So welcome and uh, let's get going. Uh, a fact here I'm going to share with you right now is that you are more likely to reach your goals when you're present, engaged, and intentional with how you spend your time and energy. So my suggestion is um, start with uh, just a monthly exercise. You know, you can start it now. Um, it can be for November or whatever works for you. There are six categories I want you to uh, make note of. The first one is self-care. Okay, so what intentions um, can you set to treat, fulfill, and recharge yourself? This is really important because this is the piece that is really about you and nobody else, right? And, and we have to take care of ourselves first if we're going to be there for our family and friends and everything else. Uh, number two is health. So get intentional about exercise, about hydration, nutrition, um, and your sleep quality. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, sleep is really important and I don't get enough of it. So anything that I can do that's going to encourage and, and um, induce a little sleep a little longer is something I'm going to focus on. Number three is friends and family. Uh, what intentions can you set to connect with those uh, who matter the most? So a coffee date with a friend you haven't seen in a while, or maybe you only see once a month. Um, a lunch, uh, a connect with the family, whatever that is, write it down. Number four, personal growth. So what do you intend to learn and how do you intend to grow this month or today or whenever? But that's really important that you're spending time on yourself, you're learning new things and you're sharing what your learnings are because it may help somebody else down the road. Number five is time, money and energy. So what will you set out to do better and what will you eliminate? Um, that's going to be really important too. Time, energy, money. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why they're all those three are categories together, but we'll, we'll go with it. And then that last one is number six. And it's probably one of the most important ones because you're going to feel more fulfilled and satisfied um, in your day to day is going to be fun and adventure. So think of something fun. Uh, commit to an activity, start planning your next trip, um, get it, set an intention and uh, get outside more, something like that, something you're going to do um, that's going to be fun and, you know, going to kind of uh, encourage a little sense of adventure. So hope this helps a little bit, just the beginning, um, get yourself six, you know, six categories or six page, pages of paper, um, jot these things down, pick one, for, for now and then you know you could change it up every month or if you want to do this weekly like whatever works for you and don't forget that it's a dream until you write it down and then it becomes a goal so hope that you guys are having a wonderful day wonderful week get intentional about your life and be grateful I talked to you last time about gratitude Keep going with the gratitude. It's going to help you find your path and it's going to help you map out where you need to spend your time and energy. Have a great day, guys. Uh, we'll talk again real soon. Happy Wellness Wednesday.